Autofilter is an L-Acoustics autosolver tool for electronically optimizing a source to achieve tonal homogeneity over a user-defined audience area. This guide builds upon the audience coverage and SPL target objectives defined in the Using Autosplay video. It is recommended to watch this video before proceeding with Autofilter. Not all sources require the use of autosplay, for example, coaxial sources, or fixed curvature line sources such as A series. Because of this, it may be required to set the coverage and the SPL target in this step prior to using autofilter. To set the coverage, open the source cut view window and move dmin and dmax flags to define the extents of the covered audience area. Position DREF within this area to represent a reference position. Open the SPL target window to set an SPL target. Select 80 to 250 Hz in the drop down boxes to view the low frequency response of the system. Drag the DMIN and DMAX flags to match this attenuation rate, acknowledging the recommended SPL design guidelines, as described in the mechanical optimization video. To calculate autofilter, select a source and view the electronic settings tab. Autofilter needs to know the discretization of enclosures for control. Select the unit type that will be powering the source and select a value for the number of enclosures to run in parallel. With this set, press the calculate button in the auto filter frame. If the source is not capable of auto filter, then the frame will not be visible. Once this is finished, the auto filter state label will be set to active. Once calculated, an auto filter mode drop down box will appear in the auto filter frame. If there is a change that can be made, this will be available for user interaction. Default mode represents the full frequency optimization. This mode results in a small increase in latency due to the processing time required for the filters. If the user requires a minimum latency time, they can select Reduced Latency Mode. This keeps the optimization of the high frequency filters but disables the low frequency filters that require the additional latency. There is an additional mode which bypasses the low frequency filters without affecting the latency, which is useful for seeing the effects of autofilter.